Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Mod Tutorials here, and today I have some great news. Um, Absinthe 2.0 has arrived, as you can see here, and this jailbreak only supports 5.1.1 for any device that's running it. And as you can see over here, these are devices that it supports um, and that can run 5.1.1. But before we begin, there's one thing that you're going to want to make sure first is that you're running firmware 5.1.1 so just go on your iDevice and open it up you can go into settings and then into general and into about and scroll down to where it says version and it should say 5.1.1 if it doesn't say this you're going to need to plug your iDevice into iTunes and update it manually to 5.1.1 so that you're able to jailbreak because this only supports 5.1.1 so once you're done just X out of settings and go on greenpoison.com as it says up here and it's gonna in the other corner it'll have uh, the download section and so you're just gonna download the one that's appropriate for your operating system so I have Windows so I'm gonna download Windows if you have Mac you download Mac if you have Linux you download Linux so I'm just gonna download the Windows one and I'll bring you to this page where it says click here download your attachment and you're gonna click and download it and it is downloading something down here um, and it's the reason it has a one here is because I just did it to my friends and I just want to show you guys this and since I'm on Windows it'll come up here but if you're on a Mac uh, your f uh, file should be in here so just drag the file to your desktop and on a Mac you can just place it on your desktop <clears throat> so once you have it you're gonna open it up but if you're on a if you're on a uh, Windows PC you have to right click it run as administrator and then yes and this is just installing all the files for the jailbreak so nothing goes wrong it, it looks bad but trust me it's not it, everything's fine <coughs> and once you do this instead of the other folder you're gonna have absinthe right here and you're gonna want to open this up and inside it'll have absinthe the data change log and readme and just as the other one, you're going to want to right click, run as administrator. <clears throat> yes. And I'll zoom in right here. This is the program for the jailbreak, Absinthe. And it says that it detects the thing that's connected, um, which my iPhone 4S right here on 5.1.1. And it says, please make a backup of your device before using this tool. We don't expect any issues, but we aren't responsible if anything happens. I made a quick backup of mine. All you have to do is plug it into iTunes and sync it, and it'll save all the things to your computer. So really, once you have your iPhone plugged in or your iDevice plugged in, all you really need to do is just press jailbreak right here in the little button down here. You don't have to go into DFU mode if you know what that is. If you don't know what it is, don't really worry about that. So right here beginning jailbreak this may take a while <clears throat> and to my friend's phone it took probably three minutes to do um, and we were in his basement where it didn't have like the greatest connection so I'm not gonna cut anything out of this video I'm gonna show you how the whole process works but right now it's just uploading like the files to your iPhone like and it's like preparing it for the real jailbreak itself so <clears throat> Yep. Um, it, so as I said, probably four minutes, five minutes at most they'll take. And I'm also going to be uploading more videos on cool tweaks and mods for Cydia and other things that come out. So stay tuned for those as well. But as this is working, um, don't really play with your iPhone. Don't touch anything or uh, mess with anything or else it might corrupt the files on your computer and you have to restart and it started its next stage sending initial jailbreak data this also may take a while so it doesn't take that long and it's still loading and I just want to say a big thanks to everyone who helped create this program it really helped a lot and I'm really glad that they were able to do this <clears throat> <clears throat> and if you if you're still not, don't touch your iPhone yet, or else you'll cause something to go wrong, probably, and you'll have to restart.
Let me just check to see if... Okay. It's still sending the jailbreak data. But it is a ver relatively simple jailbreak compared to the other ones that are out there. Because you don't have to... Um, um, like put all in the DFU mode and everything and as you can see sending final jailbreak data it'll uh, appear as it is in restore progress but this and if you don't really know what a jailbreak is I'm just trying to kill time here it's more of like it allows you to free your iDevice is this uh, motto for it like you can basically change or access your iPhone or iDevice the way you want to use it which is pretty cool so at, it'll still be restoring a backup for a while don't trust me nothing's getting deleted off your phone it's just uploading all the jailbreak things and probably should take one more two minutes here and w waiting for a boot not done yet don't unplug your device yet as you can see it's, it's trying to reboot my phone right now it's loading <clears throat> and if you don't and if you get errors when you're doing this and you're on a Windows computer it's probably because you didn't run it in the um, D uh, in the run as administrator mode so make sure you do that and if it doesn't work uh, with this I'll show you a really really quick fix video or like a quick part right after I'm done with this and as you can see it just rebooted itself it should be done in the relatively probably 30 seconds <clears throat> it should be done now waiting for process to complete it's just installing the files out of my iPhone right now oh and it just it, I just heard the double vibrate so it's turning on it should be on in a second and I'm on it's gonna say completed jailbreak done or something like that within a minute and it works fine I, I did on my friend's phone there was really no problems uh, city of work just as fast and if you're on 5.0.1 it fixed some of the bugs going on the 5.1.1 so I, I, I decided to upgrade uh, to upgrade and jailbreak but you might want to save SHSH files if you don't know what that is I'll make a video on those soon and here we go done and enjoy I'm officially jailbroken on my, just to prove it to you, on my iPhone 4S 5.1.1, whoops, it says right here, it'll say uh, current update 5.1.1 up to date, or I'll just show you here, I'm on 5.1.1, everything's working fine, open up Cydia, and you can X out of this when you're done. I'll say preparing file system. Cydia will exit when complete. Should take probably five minutes. So that's basically the whole jailbreak. I'll come back to you once this is done loading because this might take five, ten minutes if it takes a while. So I'll be right back. Okay, it 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 just completed. Here we are. I'm just gonna open up Cydia. As you can see, it's working normally. It didn't crash on the open like how a tether jailbreak would, and. Right here we go, Cydia, uh, it'll have your SHSH blob saved up here. So if you weren't jailbroken on 5.0.1 or you just got your phone a few days ago or maybe a week, week or two ago and you were automatically on 5.1.1, it won't say SHSH for these. But if you were previously jailbroken, it will. So right here, all you're going to want to do is, but before they really do anything, when it says done, uh, done packages, it's just like reloading all the data on it. So all you might want to do is press upgrade and excuse me, it just completed. Here we are. I'm just going to open up Cydia. As you can see, it's working normally. It didn't crash on the open like how a tethered jailbreak would. And right here we go. Cydia, uh, it'll have your SHSH blob saved up here. So if you weren't jailbroken on 5.0.1 or you just got your phone a few days ago or maybe a week, week or two ago and you were automatically on 5.1.1, it won't say SHSH for these. But if you were previously jailbroken, it will. So right here, all you're going to want to do is, but before they really do anything, when it says done, uh, done packages, it's just like reloading all the data on it. So all you might want to do 
is press upgrade and excuse me um if you're on rocky this is reloading data one sec oh wait okay well 